any class in digital logic wouldn't be complete unless uh, you had experience building a one-bit arithmetic logic unit. Now this is not just a one-bit adder. Uh, we actually use a one-bit adder in this, but it is a, a one-bit arithmetic logic unit that allows you to do multiple operations. Uh, so we're going to be able to do an AND and an OR, an exclusive OR, and an addition uh, to this. So let's go ahead and build that component. Uh, and uh, we're going to need an AND gate. Uh, we are going to need an OR gate. And we are going to need an arithmetic adder. Okay. Now this... Uh, and this particular circuit is going to use a combination of things we've already seen so far, but we're going to use multiplexers in this to select which one we've got. And the idea is that uh, yeah, given an input A and B, which are two bits, we're going to either be able to say, I want to see the results of the AND of those two, an OR of those two, a NAND and a NOR, as well as a uh, exclusive or or an addition to those. So let's go ahead and uh, <coughs> start doing that. Well, let's go ahead and put our input in there. Uh, the input is uh, the I.O. We want input, so we want uh, this is our A, and we will label that as A, A, and uh, B. We may move these around to make sure they uh, look okay. Now, in order to get to the NAND and NOR gates, we have to invert the input of uh, A and B. So we're going to need some selector bits on top. So we're going to need up here uh, one bit, and this is going to call this as A invert. Let me spell that correctly. A invert. And we're, while we're at it, we're going to rotate it 270 degrees. We're going to get, a, obviously, a B invert. B invert. And we will rotate that 270 degrees so it points down. We're going to need a carry in. Again, I'm going to rotate that 270 degrees, pointing down. And we'll call this carry in, because remember this is a one bit uh, arithmetic logic unit, so we can connect these in series. And now the other thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need an operation. I'm going to tell it need to be able to tell it which one of these three to go on. Now I need two selector bits. So I need two bits here. That will give us options of uh, uh, 0, 1, 2, or 3. Although we're only going to need the first three, not the fourth one. And we will rotate this one 270 degrees also. And uh, that will be there. Good. Now what we need to do now is we need to put in the multiplexers. Okay, so let's put in a multiplexer. I'm going to change the bit so that it uh, flips it. Okay, we're okay there. Put A invert over and connect this up. And I'm leaving myself lots of room here. Okay. Now, what I want to do here is I want zero to select the A coming in and send that to simultaneously the AND gate and the OR gate and also the adder. Okay. But if I tell B invert to select the other one, what I want to do is I want to send the opposite of that over to the AND gate, the OR gate, or the adder. So if I select one up here, it'll send the NOT. If I select zero, it will send just A straight through, whatever it is. Okay. Let's do the same thing for B now. <coughs> I'll get this down here. I will flip the selector bit, put it on top. B will come down here. I'll put my not 
gate right there. And notice how it connects it up directly if I put it one space away. That's a, kind of a shortcut. line things up making them pretty and then finally we connect this up okay likewise we send this over we send this to the OR gate the AND gate and of course the uh, B gate carry in we bring that down here and connect it up so we're all set over here now the only thing we have left to do is the output <clears throat> okay, the output, and we're going to put a multiplexer down here, and the multiplexer uh, is going to uh, allow us to tell us which one of these we want to see the output of, the AND gate, the OR gate, or the addition. So uh, I'm going to flip that selector bit. I always like to put them on top. You don't always have to do this, but put it on top. This has to be changed. Uh, data bits is two bits. That's right. All right. And now this has to be changed to the multiplexer has to be changed to the number of selector bits is two. It's still only one bit data, but it's two selector bits. So the AND gate will be zero. The OR gate will be one. The adder will be and we have this f f number three here though, or the fourth one uh, what we have to do is we have to account for it so what we have to do is we have to say we have to go to wires and we have to say not connected so put that right here The only thing now to do is the output will actually uh, put uh, some LEDs out here to indicate when they're turned on. There is the output for this one, and then we also have the the carry out. We want to see that. So that's our one bit ALU. And if I haven't forgotten anything, I built this thing about three or four times this morning. So let's see, let's see, let's run it. Start simulation. Oh, everything seems to be okay. Now then carry uh, the operation is zero which means that uh, it's the results of the AND gate up here uh, A invert B invert at zero which means it's taking A and B exactly so let me turn A on and let me turn B on and ha huh, I see it turned that on so that's uh, uh, that's one so one zero or zero one should turn that off now if I change the operation to the OR which is the uh, zero one ah then Either, either A or B is turned on. It should turn it on. That's good. Turn carry on in, and uh, you'll see how that turns on the adder. Let's do an adder. So I'm going to add 1 and 0. Uh, 1 and 0 with a carry in should be 1, 1. <coughs> okay. 1, 1, 0 should be 0. And let me do the, uh, the addition here. The addition is 3, and it is, it's a 0 with a carry of a 1. That works out correctly, too. Now, let me show you that the A invert and B invert work. So, I'm going to do a uh, 1, 1, and uh, by A invert and B invert, in an operation of a 0, okay, this one coming out here, this is a NAND, now this becomes a uh, a nor gate not or all right which means a one and one should be zero and that's in case that is indeed the truth right there that is the one bit arithmetic logic unit and all of you should be uh, able to produce this from memory uh, at any given time once you've completed a course in uh, digital logic is very very basic building block of, uh, of uh, any circuit uh, well if you like this video please press like and uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, I'm going off and I'm going to make another one for you. Uh, have a good day.